Hey, what's going on guys? Josh from Trilbo. We are down here at Easter Jeep Safari 2021 in Moab, Utah. And if you guys haven't already seen Icon's JT, their 2020 Jeep Gladiator, then you're definitely gonna have to stay tuned because we're gonna go around and we're gonna check this thing out and we're gonna show you guys. So make sure and stay tuned. Now obviously Icon's Jeep started out as just a regular JT Rubicon and they have completely gone through this entire thing with armor, wheels and tires. They have about a stage nine or so. It's a prototype four inch suspension for the JT. So if you have a Gladiator and you're looking for a four inch suspension, you're definitely gonna have to stay tuned for Icon's new system. But this has the prototype four inch Icon stage nine suspension on it where the reservoirs all have the CDC valves on them for control of the ride quality and performance. But we'll start off right with the wheel and tire package. So Icon opted with the 40 by 13 and a half 17 trail grapplers from Nitto because they love the performance of these tires and how well they grip in the rocks and their durability. And obviously Icon decided to go with their newest model of their wheels called the Thrust. The Thrust does come in a couple of different finishes. It has the satin black here that you can see has the simulated beadlock look. Really like this clean look to it. The spokes are nice and defined and it has these little ridges in it just to give it that extra accent. These thrusts are now available right on our website at strobiltoffroad.com. So other than noticeably the 40 inch tires on here, the other thing that really stands out, well, and besides the wrap on here, which they did a really nice job on, is the KC rack, the lights on top of the windshield up here. Man, you can see this thing coming down the road from a mile away. So guys, before we get into Icon suspension on this Gladiator, we're gonna do a walk around. We're gonna show you one of the things that really stands out on here that's gonna be just released as you guys are watching this video. And these are the new Impact Armor rock sliders that are a true 3 16 inch thickness on these rock sliders. So as you guys know, Icon's quality is superior and that's no different in their new Icon series, their Impact Armor. These rock sliders are gonna hold your vehicle up on the toughest of situations, whether you're getting against a tree or if you're on a rock or even to help prevent some serious damage in a collision. But these rock sliders are gonna be there to protect your rig from some serious damage. Plus guys, you're gonna be able to find these right on our website. Again, it's in the accessories section on our website on Trail Build, so make sure and check them out. And just like the rock sliders, guys, these front bumpers are also super stout with the three 16 inch thickness on these front bumpers are definitely going to hold your winch from coming off the front plus protect from front end damage so these two are just going to be released here shortly from icon you'll be able to find them on our website if you don't already the other nice thing is guys not only are they available on these jeep gladiators but they're also going to be available on the jls as well super exciting it's a great time for icon to release their new icon impact armor series for jt's and jl's all right guys we showed you the icon impact armor rock sliders we showed you the front bumper now the back bumper is also going to be newly released as you guys are pretty much watching this video again Icon's quality with the 3 16 it's a true 3 16 inch thickness steel. A lot of those other aftermarket bumpers that you might find on different retail websites aren't always gonna be a true thickness. So they might base it off a gauge, which doesn't necessarily mean it's as thick as what you think it is. That's what she said. <laughs> oh but guys, we are gonna be doing a lot more videos showing you guys the ins and outs of these Icon Impact bumpers and rock sliders. So you're definitely gonna to have to make sure and subscribe so you guys can stay tuned and get notified for when we do those other videos. So moving up from the back bumper, we also have this rack system here from Lightner. Now this thing is pretty unique. I wasn't quite sure about it at first because obviously it does take up a little bit of space, but this thing is super cool. This is all aluminum, does have these utility boxes on here for that extra storage. Plus it keeps you from having to dig in the box if you don't have any storage system already. Just keeps everything nice and organized up out of the way and you still get the cross rails on top of this rack so you can mount like a rooftop tent or just carry some ladders. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And not to mention, it makes a nice mounting point for 
your auxiliary lights. So if you guys are using a rack like this to go over landing and car camping out in the wilderness, this rack really makes it versatile and makes this whole system modular so you can use it for a variety of different things. As promised guys, now we're gonna get into some of the suspension specs with you guys, but make sure and stay tuned to our YouTube because there's a lot more that we're gonna be covering with you guys about Icon's suspension, about their impact armor, and also about some new stuff going on with their Icon alloys. Now, Icon has already released their two to two and a half inch lift suspension for the JTs and JLs. But like I said before, they're gonna be introducing what is on here now as a prototype, their four inch lift suspension. It's gonna have the two and a half inch remote reservoir shocks on it, which if you know Icon, you know they really tune their suspension per vehicle. So if it's a Gladiator and you have it built up, you have the rack on it, you have some auxiliary extra accessories on it, your suspension is gonna be tuned to compensate for that extra weight. All of the reservoirs have what's called a CDC valve on it so you can control the valving and control the fluid as it moves. So you can control it to where the ride is gonna be more firm if you're hitting the whoops or hard bumps out in the desert, or you can soften it up so that if you're going rock crawling, you can really Allow that suspension to work and articulate to keep those tires planted on the ground for that extra traction. So there's a whole lot more that we're going to go through with you guys on the suspension system in some future videos. And with the shocks, obviously the performance of the shocks, to keep the axle in place and to keep it articulating with as much movement as possible are their billet aluminum control arms, both upper and lower on the front and rear as well so very high performing very high quality suspension from icon so if you guys are looking for that four inch lift make sure and stay tuned so basically coming from the factory as a rubicon most of the dry train on here is completely stock except for these rcv shafts so you still have the four to one transfer case you have the lower gears and the axles but the only thing they really wanted to improve and upgrade to is the RCV shafts on here with how hard this thing has been working over the last few days out here in Moab, Utah, it has been absolutely extraordinary how well this JT has been performing. And nothing has broken on it, it's been going through everything it's designed to go through and then some and making it look super simple. All right guys, well that concludes our walk around on Icon Vehicle Dynamics 2020 Gladiator JT. Definitely hope you guys enjoyed the video and remember if you are looking for any Icon products at all, to head on over to our website it's is trollbuiltoffroad.com. Other than that, don't forget to stay tuned. Make sure and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that way you guys get notified every time we post a new video. Other than that, guys, we definitely appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trollbuilt, and we'll see you guys out on the trails.